Hi everyone, today's tutorial is going to be on how to dye your hair red and uh, this is my first time getting my hair this red I am so excited and I'm pretty satisfied with the result so I really want to share with you guys when I wanted to dye my hair red, I was pretty worried that it won't turn out the way I want it before whenever I try to dye my hair red, it usually turned out like reddish brown and I don't really want the color anymore, I really just want, you know, really truly red hair and it kind of really turned out this way this time, so I'm really excited um, I did dye my hair before, um, so some areas are a little bit lighter than the others but uh, I never bleached my hair and I didn't have to bleach my hair this time either so anyway, let's get right into dyeing my hair. Here, as you can see, I have black roots here and I have previous dye hair. I'm going to dye my hair with L'Oreal High Color Highlights in red. And this is meant for black hair and for highlights, but I'm going to use this all over my hair. Initially, I'm going to have this um, corrector packet to get rid of any brassy, ugly tones in my hair. So this is a cream dye and it's also permanent so definitely want to add this with developer and I believe this is 1.2 ounce and to add the developer you'll just add um, twice as the amount which will be 2.4 ounce and you'll need a bowl and a brush for applying the dye and of course you need clips and now I'm kind of looking through my hair to see what section I want to apply first. I want to apply in this middle section first. As you can see, it's previous dyed, but it's a little bit darker than the rest of my hair. So that will be the section that's hardest to get into color. Um, so I want to dye this section first in the middle. And then I will dye the rest of my hair and then the roots. So here is my dye and I'm going to poke it by reversing the cap. Squeeze everything out. And now I'm going to wear my gloves. So I can um, mix everything and make sure I don't, you know, get the dye all over my pan. Here I have all the dyes pretty shocking red. I'm going to add in the developer, which is, as I mentioned, twice the amount. But honestly, I think I would pour more than that because I have long hair. Um, I was trying to, you know, follow instruction and just add twice the amount. But I think if I do this again, I would add half the bottle of my developer instead of just 2.4 ounce. So I mix everything, which looks like this, and then now I'm going to apply it. So here I'm going to apply in the middle section here, as I mentioned before. As you can see, I'm leaving out the root, um, but if I were to do this again, I don't think I will leave that much of the root untouched at this point. To avoid having lines on your section, you want to hold your brush straight like this and brush on the line area in between sections to avoid harsh lines. Now once you're finished with the area, you want to use the back of your brush, the pointy side, and split your hair into the next section, in the next layer. And then repeat the same thing as before. Okay, so now I think I did the first section, and I think I look quite scary. Well, a little bit scary with all the red so. Okay, so now I'm going to dye the rest of my hair, building out the roots. And I think I ran out of hair dye, so now I'm going to open a second bottle. And um, I, usually I always use two bottles of hair dye, so I really don't know how other people are able to dye their whole head just with one bottle, especially if they have long hair like me. So yeah, now I'm going to start on the roots of my hair. Um, if I were to do this again, as I mentioned, I will not leave so much of my roots out in the beginning. Um, I will probably only leave one inch instead of all of my roots. And I want to apply to kind of the face line first, all around. Because those are the areas that you will see most in your pictures and everything. So I want to especially make sure that these areas are, you know, well dyed. After everything is done, I'm going to wrap my hair with a plastic bag to kind of trap the heat around my hair so it can take in the color a little bit more. And what I usually do is just kind of um, use a clip to clip it so it won't fall off. So, yep, I know I look pretty ridiculous, especially with all this red on my t-shirt. It looks like I just killed someone. <laughs> And I can probably dress like this for Halloween, huh? Since I already have a shirt. Hmm. 
So now it has been an hour since I left my hair on with the plastic bag. Um, the bottle actually says 30 minutes, but I leave it for an hour because I always leave it on longer than it says it should. And now I'm using Riveting Red Shampoo and Conditioner to wash my hair because these are red shampoos that will keep my hair red um, throughout hair washes. So that is how you get your red hair. This is the result. Um, today is actually the second day after I dye my hair. Um, but I haven't washed it again yet, so this is kind of like, you know, how it looks afterwards. Right now, I am, of course, indoor, and it's nighttime right now, so I can't really show you in, you know, sunlight. But I will post some picture on my blog um, for additional picture, you know, under the sunlight, and also kind of like, not under direct sunlight to kind of show you the difference. Um, obviously, under the sunlight will be a lot brighter and shinier. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please leave me any question, comment that you may have. Um, like this video for more tutorials. And subscribe if you haven't yet. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi everyone. Today I'm going to share a tutorial with you on how to make this bow for right here in the back. Um, I think that is something fairly easy to do. It's very fun, fairly romantic, and it's very good for decoration in New York.